Baseball and Lou Gehrig, Part 1. As everyone knows, the national sport in the United States is baseball. Nearly everyone in the United States is interested in baseball. Many American boys begin to play baseball when they are only five or six years old. They continue to play until they become men. When they are men, their interest often continues. There are baseball teams in schools. There are baseball teams which represent all the important cities. These teams play against each other. There are many American men who read about these games in the newspapers every day. Each man has his favorite team. He goes to see the teams play. He follows the games on radio and TV. He knows all about each player. He talks about baseball with other men. He is what we call a baseball fan. The big cities in the United States, New York, Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia, etc., all have their baseball teams. These teams are the best in the country. They form two groups or leagues the National League and the American League. The teams of each league play against each other. At the end of the season, the winner of each league then plays against the winner of the other league. This is the World Series. Interest everywhere is very great at the time of the World Series. Everyone is interested in the result. Who will win the World Series? The Dodgers, the Yankees, the Reds? These are all names of different teams. The Dodgers is a short, popular name for the team which now represents Los Angeles. The Yankees is a short, popular name for the team which represents New York in the American League. The Reds is the popular name for the Cincinnati team. Each team in both leagues has a short, popular name. The players in these big teams naturally play very well. They are the best players in the world. Some of them become very famous. They become national heroes. Everyone has heard of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and Joe DiMaggio. Part 2 The story of Lou Gehrig is an interesting one. It is also a sad story. Lou Gehrig was one of the greatest baseball players of all time. He played with the team of the New York Yankees. He was captain of the team for several years. While he was captain, the Yankees won the World Series three times. Lou Gehrig was a very popular player. He was popular with the other players. He was also popular with the fans. Everybody liked Lou Gehrig, everybody admired him. Everybody admired Lou Gehrig because he was an excellent player. Each year, at the end of the baseball season, sports writers always choose the best player of the year. Several times they chose Lou Gehrig as the best player of the year. Everyone liked him because he was a simple, honest man. He loved baseball. Because he loved baseball, he always tried to play well. He played when he was sick. He sometimes played with broken fingers or broken toes. He played in 2,130 games without missing one game. This is the record for all time. They called Lou Gehrig an Iron Man. Then suddenly, a strange thing happened. Lou Gehrig began to play poorly. He could not bet well. During the games, he began to drop the ball. What was the matter? No one could understand it. Lou himself could not understand it. He went to see a doctor. The doctor examined him. The doctor could not find anything wrong with him. The doctor said he was perfectly all right. Lou Gehrig continued to play. He tried to play harder. He tried to play better. But it was no use. Several times he fell down on the field. He could not get up. Other players had to help him. At last, Lou Gehrig himself went to the manager of the team. The manager was Joe McCarthy. Joe, said Lou, it's no use. I cannot play well anymore. 
I am hurting the team. Take me out. Part 3 The next day, Lou Gehrig did not play. It was the first time in 2,130 games. Every newspaper in the country wrote all about this. A short time later, Lou left New York. He went to a famous medical clinic, the Mayo Clinic. There, special doctors examined Lou very carefully. They discovered that Lou had a strange disease. It is a disease similar to infantile paralysis. There was no cure for the disease. Lou Gehrig returned to New York. He could not play baseball again, the doctors said. He had played his last game. Everyone felt very sad about this. Baseball had lost one of its finest players. To show how people felt about him, a special game was played in the Yankee baseball park. The day was called Lou Gehrig Appreciation Day. Every important person in baseball attended the game. Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, and many others. The mayor of the city and other officials spoke. They praised Lou. Lou received hundreds of presents. 61,808 people attended this game. It was a great day for Lou Gehrig. It was also a sad day. Lou's paralysis became worse and worse. He was given work in the government. It was easy work in an office. Lou tried hard, but it was difficult. Soon he could not even go to his office. He could not move his legs. He could not raise his hands. Two years later, he died. He was still a young man. A simple, honest man whom everyone liked. He was one of the greatest heroes of American baseball.